Guam is now in condition of readiness too. As of 5 p.m. today, Gov Acting Governor Josh Norio declaring core two for the island. And now is the time to prepare. Tropical storm Manu continues to track towards the Marianas, predicted to make an impact to Guam and Rota. Joining us with more is Guam National Weather Service meteorologist Brandon Ivelet. Brandon, first and more, foremost, can you tell, her, tell us what our viewers should know? Yes, uh, most important is we do have this tropical storm that is coming in from our east. And so as we go through the overnight hours, we're gonna start seeing those winds Northerly winds are going to start increasing, and uh, by the early morning hours, uh, Wednesday morning, we're going to start seeing showers picking up, and then those winds becoming progressively gustier, especially as we head towards sunrise. Right. And so can you tell us what the closest point of approach is for Guam? Right now, we're still looking at a passage uh, a little bit north of Guam, and, and so as we still have about 12 hours before it moves through the islands, uh, the consideration is, could it shift a little bit farther north? Could it shift a little bit farther south? Uh, but the, the big story uh, is to watching for is those tropical storm winds picking up around soon after sunrise Wednesday morning. Worst conditions, uh, right now we're still looking at uh, uh, late morning hours Wednesday morning around midday as it passes through the islands. It continued to intensify and, and, uh, and pretty much slowed its pace. Is that something that we're continuing to track through the night? Yep, uh, today we've been seeing some, uh, it's held kind of plateaued with its intensity, maintaining about a 45 mile per hour uh, tropical storm intensity. Uh, the satellite imagery does show a little bit of a ragged appearance, so low level circulation has kind of shot ahead of the heavier showers and thunderstorms. So that kind of suggests maybe we won't see so much uh, intensification as it's pushing through the Marianas. That's a good thing, mm -hmm. but still we, we have those considerations of the stronger winds and gusts and then those sporadic heavier showers that'll push through. Since right. you said it is going to be north of Guam, do you think Rota and even Tinian should be really concerned? Yep, and this is definitely one for all the air, uh, islands to look for. Um, while a northward shift for Guam means slightly less winds, for Rota, for Tinian, Saipan, those uh, winds uh, will be a little bit stronger uh, if those trends continue overnight. What are the chances that it'll be upgraded from a tropical storm? Well, uh, upgraded from a tropical storm to a typhoon uh, is something that we always look at and we mm -hmm. have been getting questions, could we be looking at another Mawar? Mm -hmm. and, and the answer is no. Uh, we're looking at a lot of different model guidance and, and there's no guidance that, that suggests there could be a typhoon uh, as it moves through the, the Marianas. Now, once it gets to the Philippine Sea, mm -hmm. we could see some eventual intensification but uh, for it to come from 260 miles east of uh, Guam currently and rapidly intensify, very unlikely, and, and none of the guidance is supporting that. Right, and can you tell us a little bit more of when will we know we are in the clear? We're gonna start seeing uh, the, the worst conditions will be Wednesday morning, but uh, come uh, the uh, Wednesday afternoon, we'll start seeing some improvement. So the winds are gonna shift around to the west especially with that northward passage uh, north of Guam. And then those winds will start to uh, weaken uh, in the afternoon hours. So probably around sunset, and then we can have a, a much better uh, idea when that all clear can be uh, issued. Hopefully we can get our weekend off to a clearer start with some clearer skies and right. not the calm before the storm kind of skies. Thank you, Brandon Islet <laughs> with the Guam National Weather Service uh, for the update. We'll continue to watch you as well as uh, on your Facebook updates as you provide it through the night and in the morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Good luck out there. Thank you.